Hi, it's Paul Browning from HowToNetwork.com and WonderOneLabs.net. I very rarely do this, but it's breaking news. And I I uh, hate to say I've been proved right, but I keep posting on various groups such as Reddit to say, you still have to get your hands-on experience to get through your exams. And it makes sense if you want to be a network engineer, you can configure DHCP, DNS, access list, NAT, all that kind of stuff. And so many people, I don't know who they are, they, they're just lurking on there and giving bad advice. And basically what they were saying is the Cisco CCNA and CCMP exams have no labs in them, which they didn't. So you don't really need to spend any or much time doing hands-on labs. Those that said do labs said, oh, you find with Packet Tracer. That's all changed as of today. So for me in Australia, it's the 8th, but it's the 7th of July, 2022. And as I predicted, Cisco have announced their reintroduced hands-on uh, tests into the exams. And um, it gets worse or better depending how you're looking at it because they aren't testing you on the old little simulation. This is a full Cisco iOS, a small network with iOS running on Cisco switches and uh, routers. And you've got to configure all of this stuff. Uh, you've got a time limit. You've got to log into equipment, fix it, configure, troubleshoot, diagnose, answer questions, and move on. And you've still only got 90 minutes. I don't know how many labs you've got. A big one, a few small ones, a medium one. I don't know. And if I did know, I couldn't tell you because of the um, rules. So this page belongs to Cisco.com. It's not mine, but I'm going to go through, through some of the main points. I'll put the link in the description so you can read it and some other links. So it's a new type of performance-based exams giving CCNA, so Associates and Professional Certifications. They don't say whether this is added to the DevNet and the CyberOps, so uh, check for yourself, but definitely in the routing and switching the enterprise tracks. So you need to demonstrate your knowledge and skills. These complement the more um, traditional multiple choice drag and drop. So that can be included in your questions. So this uh, aims to measure your application of your knowledge of a hands-on environment. You're doing um, configuring and troubleshooting. And this is what I keep telling people on these forums like Reddit. It drives me mad and I get attacked, but nobody can argue with me here because this is my channel. I'm sure they will in the comments. Um, just like you have to navigate through traffic when you're driving uh, for your driving test, you have to um, prove you can do that. Cisco candidate should use, look, real routers, actual Cisco gear, not Packet Tracer. I'm not saying don't use Packet Tracer. If you've got 10 minutes to kill and you want to do a quick lab, you should be using actual gear. Um, I've got so much I'll tell you about in a minute. You don't have to use mine, obviously. You can get some gear off uh, eBay get a cheap rack of Cisco routers and switches and cable it up. And when you're finished, um, sell it. You don't have to spend much money. So like in real life situations when candidates work with devices, they're often free to use their preferred configuration options. So um, basically what they're saying is when you're using Packet Tracer or the Cisco solution in the exam, the simulator, you can only use a few different commands and Packet Tracer may well drive you mad when you come to do debugging and troubleshooting. And for CCMP, you can forget it. So for example, candidates can enter the prompts they prefer and make sure they're all configured at the end. And um, it goes be far, far beyond the usual running configuration. So while the path to get to the end state is not the priority, they should be conscious of how long they work in each lab item. The whole exam is timed and maybe like the real world, okay, it isn't timed, but if you're on a network outage situation, which we call P1 when we worked at Cisco TAC, you are on the clock because um, your customer's got to hit their service level agreements of network uptime. So these labs are designed to give you seven to five minutes, five to seven minutes to complete. The, um, Key features, so simple uh, user interface, the UI. It splits the screen into two panels. This is really handy, and you don't have this in real life. This is your topology here on the left, for example. You click on a device, and the um, screen would come up as if you've uh, telneted in or SSH'd into the device, and then you can click on another one. So normally you would have to use um, a console server or um, something like that. So... Um, 
on the right are the interactive terminals where you can provide your solutions. ASW1, access um, switch, I guess that is. Distribution layer switch, one and two, which is very common. And this is very similar to the setup I've got, actually. I'm going to go back to this in a minute. But we had, we've had this for ages because I think it's so important, like for years. This is uh, our live rack on howtonetwork.com. So this is your distribution layer switches, just like the real world. These are your access layer switches, which basically means your customers are connected to these ones. And then this is going towards a core of your network and then out to the internet. So this is all coming true. And I kind of feel vindicated here. So you can read this for yourself. At any time, you can use your center wall features that sends one or more commands to all devices at once. Uh, you can zoom in. Um, one candidate can dive into this and make um, in, encounter performance based multiple choice to drag and drop so they're, they're the type of questions you can get so the ultimate benefit is the candidates opportunities after passing the exam don't focus on passing the exam just like don't focus on passing the driving test it's the it's what's going to happen after there's a link down here with a video that shows you the kind of thing you're looking for the main thing is um I'll, I'll put the um I'll just forward this. This is telling you how the um, exam works, what it's going to look like. But the main thing you want to look at is uh, how the uh, lab's going to look. So lab features here. So look at this in your own time. But you can see you've actually got equipment. And then um, this is a live iOS. It's not a live device, but it's running on Linux, running Cisco iOS. So this is what Cisco TAC use and is what you'll use on like GNS3 and that kind of thing. Um, so there you go. Um, so that's all I've got to say. So the thing is, how do you tackle this now? Well, you must do loads and loads of labs. So forget taking any course anywhere, Udemy or any other website that doesn't have loads and loads of labs. And um, as I said, I've got that solution. Have a look around. I don't know anyone else apart from INE that offers you live racks. The only problem is they've got Cisco racks. CCIE racks, which are really high level, but do check them out because I haven't looked recently. So we've got two live racks. I'll put a link to the um, video I just posted a couple of days ago, actually, about live Cisco racks. And then also when you come to do your CCNA course, wherever you do it, I've got some links underneath if you want to. Um, here's the first video for mine. It's a live uh, rack. But if you go through your course, labs, mini labs, mini lab, mini lab. Lab, 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 lab. This is just module one. Module two, mini lab, mini lab, mini lab, mini lab, mini lab, mini lab, 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 and so on and so forth. There's loads of them. And then I think we finish off with a huge super lab tackling everything you need to know. So you must get loads and loads of lab time if you want to pass the exam. If you if you've already got a course you're happy with, um, there's 101labs.net. This is just hands-on labs. But we've got live Cisco racks also on this website. It's the same, it's the same rack, actually. Um, so live Cisco racks. So if you're happy with your theory, there's a link in the description and you can um, follow along with our labs on the live Cisco wraps, um, racks. So this counts for the Cisco CCNA and also the CCMP. So our Cisco CCMP Encore, for example, um, we've got loads and loads of configurations and then along here it's actually included labs here we go lab for w WLAN security there's actually loads of labs built into this but I don't think I put the lab at the front of the title so um, you know that's the breaking news if you're taking the CCNA exam or CCMP in the next few days if you haven't got hands-on experience you need to log in quickly move your exam back a few weeks and get your hands-on experience otherwise you're going to fail and you're going to lose four hundred dollars or whatever you've paid for the exam so any questions drop them underneath please uh click on the subscribe button because i keep giving you advice and videos and labs and things that you need there's a bell you can click on so you see these first instead of all the joke and tiktok videos and movie reviews and um you know best of luck and like i said if you've got any questions drop them underneath and there's some one dollar coupons for my websites also so uh, i will see you on the next video